Floats one out to Johnson. Johnson to the 10. Johnson makes a man miss 15. Johnson 20. Blocker in front. Johnson Ooh, cuts Johnson's in the middle going. of the field. Johnson's going. He's at yes. the 35. Picks up another blocker at midfield. 45. Nice 50, block. 45. 40. And he gets tired and runs out of bounds at the 33. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. A gain of 57 yards on the throw and catch by Yaki. Gibbons gets the snap. He drops back. He's Good under pressure. Stop. And he right goes there. down like a 10 pin, picking up a spare. Fumble. The ball's loose. Fumble, and Hampton's it's a fumble, ball. and Hampton has the football. Way to go. Steven Smith Jr. got the ball and lost his helmet at about the same time. And 
here comes Hampton again, first and 10 at the 44. Handoff, McKenzie gets to the line, 50 yard line, 45, 40 and brought down at the 38. McKenzie is the running back, gets the snap on second down and six. He hits the line, gets away. Oh, shot. continues to fall through, rolls over top of a defender and man. Gibbons standing on the 15. Takes the snap, throws interception. It's intercepted! Running back the other way and getting tackled in the 25 Defense yard line. Defense comes through one more time. Number 26, Raheem Husky, his second pick of the year, and the Pirates stop the Savannah State threat. What a great job by the defense. Welcome back, Hampton Nation, to the Halftime Report. The current score is tied up 7-7. Seven to seven. Now, this has been a very interesting first half of the game. Right before halftime, defensive back Tyler Frazier suffered from a significant right knee injury. He was seen limping off of the field, so he probably is not going to return into the second half of the game. But remember, it's the Tigers' homecoming, so there's a lot going on in the stadium. So the Pirates are going to have to zone out in order to continue moving forward. Make sure you guys don't go anywhere. The score is 7 to 7. I'm Rachel Prevent with the Pirate Sports Network. Savannah State going from left to right. Snap back to Gibbons in the shotgun. Drops back, throws a pass, is intercepted. intercepted. Number 95, Joshua Swilling. Johnson, I think started early, but they keep it. Oh, it's going to be a reverse. reverse. Nice call. Nice yeah. call. Ronald He's Bell going down the field. Speed. Going down the field. 20. Out of bounds of the 15. End around reverse. They fake to the left. They come back to the right. And Ronald Bell with a big carry for a gain of 42 yards. Now Powell goes from the running back spot to a slot. Thurman's a fullback, and they hand off to Johnson, and Johnson will take it to the 10-yard line, to the 5, and he's down to the 3. So Adam Brown coming in to attempt the field goal, 2 for 3 on the season. Snap, spot, he's got a bit of an angle on the far hash mark. The kick is up in the air, and good it job. is good. Adam Brown puts one in from 24 yards out, and the Pirates lead 10-7. Johnson in the backfield, takes the snap, hands off, and Johnson squirts through, 10, 15, first down, 20, gets the edge, 30, tries to cut back into the middle of the field and gets out of bounds at about the 38 yard wow. line.
go to Longwood Williams. Letting that clock wind down. Fake the okay, pitch back to Johnson. That's he's wide open. Wide open. Touchdown! Diving catch into the end zone. It's a touchdown for Sarah Alden Knight. His fifth of the season. The freshman from Akron, Ohio, with a full swan dive into the end zone. And Hampton takes a 16-7 lead. today's game so first off you had an interception coming right off from the halftime so what was going through your mind when that play this was a really big play in the game so what was going through your mind uh, I just knew I needed to make a play uh, we worked all week in practice and we practice everything every day to make plays and that's all I wanted to do and plus it's my birthday so I had to oh, happy birthday <laughs> thank okay, you <laughs> And also, so Owen, you had some big plays today. So you had what? Three tackles? Three sacks. Three sacks? Uh, Force fumble. Force fumble. Two TFLs. I don't know how many tackles, honestly, but. You can talk about what the leadership means to you. You're like, you're a big, big asset to the team. So you can talk about that leadership. Honestly, coming off the bench today hit me hard. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to show why everybody. And I'm, I'm a big player. I'm a big role, a big factor in everything. So I just had a mindset. I'm about to go out and eat today. And that's what I did. Went out and eat. All right, congratulations, guys. All right, so you guys were tied up 7-7 seven to seven going into halftime. There was a lot going on in the fan, in the stands. So, like, what was going through your mind? Like, how did you stay focused and tuned out everything? I just had to do the little things. Most of it was on me. I made a couple of bad decisions. So just had to get the team back together in the second half. It was a new ball game, and we just we limited the mistakes second half and we won. And next week is a really big rivalry game for you guys. I think you guys play Norfolk State. So what are you planning on taking from this game until next week's game? This game, for limited the mistakes, uh, be efficient, stay consistent, and just do, do the little things for real, and we'll come out with the win. Congratulations. Thanks. All right, so you had a really big play where you dropped the ball. So when you dropped the ball, what was going through your mind? Um, you know what? I really can't say. Uh, all I can say is uh, everybody make mistakes, but uh, I just knew I had to bounce back from it. So that was all. That was all. Okay. And can you talk about just your overall performance? Like, what do you need to work on going into next week's game? You know what? It was pretty hot out here, so I got to stay, you know, in good shape. I got to stay in good shape, run a little extra. So uh, that's pretty much what I want to do for next week. It'll be hot for the next few games also. So. That's Congratulations and thank you. Thank you so much. All right, Coach. Now, you guys were tied at halftime, so what did you tell the, the, the team in order to boost their energy going into the second half of the game? Well, we just had to keep fighting. Uh, we knew the team that was the toughest was going to win this game. It was very hot, 90 degrees, and uh, our guys weren't used to this weather. And uh, it took a toll on us, but it took a toll on them, too. They had to play in it also. And uh, our guys just kept fighting, and we made a couple more plays than they did. And also, next week we will be playing Norfolk State, and that's a big rivalry game. So what are you guys going to have to work on playing against such a big rival school? Well, we got to do a better job of taking care of the ball on offense. Defense played tremendous today. They got, uh, I don't know, probably four turnovers, maybe five. And uh, then we just kept shooting ourselves in the foot on offense. So we got to do a better job of taking care of the ball, and we'll be fine. Okay. All right, thanks. Congratulations, Thank Coach. You. 